y'all it's Jessica and for today's video I'm going to be sharing my top 10 weight loss secrets with you guys and just a few of my fitness tips as well so this was a highly requested video I've actually already made a video like this in the past back in 2015 so I'm kind of like doing an updated one with some newer tips that I've discovered and so yeah I really hope that these tips help you with your fitness goals and yeah so let's just get into the video Okay, so my first tip is actually really easy. So like people always ask me, are you able to eat whatever you want and still stay fit? The answer is yes and no. To answer that question, pretty much I eat whatever I want. I just don't eat as much of it that I want to eat. So like I eat unhealthy foods, but I just eat them in very small portions. Like for example, every single time I go out to a restaurant, I always order off the kids menu. My friends, they always tease me about it. Like haha, you got a color book and a kids menu. It's better to just get a kids menu because it's still just enough food but it's a healthy portion size so like for example I love cheeseburgers so instead of getting those big cheeseburgers off the adult menu what I do is I get like the little kids sliders so it comes with like too many cheeseburgers and then like some fries and so it's a lot much more of a healthier portion size and so that's just my main biggest tip and if your friends are teasing you just wait till the checks come out and then your food is five dollars and they're paying sixteen dollars for their meal and then you can laugh at them that's what I do <laughs> So my second weight loss tip is to build more muscle. So you guys can research this a bit on your own too, but I'm just going to tell you a little bit about it. But you pretty much have something called a basal metabolic rate. And so pretty much what this means is when you're just sitting down or even sleeping, you're burning calories. It's like the calories that your body burns from just like doing regular stuff like breathing, maintaining body temperature and stuff like that. So pretty much when you have more muscle, your BMR, your basal metabolic rate is actually increased. So the more muscle mass that you have, that's the more calories that you're just burning. Like even like right now, as I'm just talking, making this video and not working out. So you want to make sure that when you're in the gym that you're toning your body up. Like you don't want to just only do cardio. Make sure that you're also toning your muscles and trying to build more muscle and it will help you burn calories so much faster. Like you're going to see the weight just come off just like that. So my third weight loss tip is something that I just started doing over winter break and it's eating oatmeal for breakfast. So the really cool thing that I found out about oatmeal is that even if you put in like a little bit of oatmeal, like the actual oats into a bowl, if you fill your bowl up with a lot of water, then the oatmeal will just expand. So pretty much the more water that you add to your oatmeal, the bigger that your oatmeal will expand. And so the good thing about this is that it's going to fill you up faster. So if you just put in a little bit of water, it's not going to expand too much. And so you'll probably be hungry in like another hour and a half or so. But if you put in a lot of water, it's going to take you forever to eat that bowl of oatmeal. And it's going to keep you so much more full for at least another three hours after. So that's something that I've just started doing. So my fourth weight loss tip is to wear a waist trainer. And so I know like this is like really controversial, like a lot of people don't believe in waist trainers and stuff like that. And so pretty much waist trainers don't actually make you lose fat. It's kind of just shaping where the fat is. Like for example, pretty much it's like pushing the fat in to make your waist look smaller. But that's not why I say to wear one. The reason why I use a waist trainer is because it can actually suppress your hunger. So this isn't to just like not be able to eat. Like you want to make sure that you're eating three meals a day at least. But this is mainly just to prevent me from snacking. It's like kind of pushing your stomach in so it's like making you not feel as hungry. You don't have to do this. I know everyone's going to have their own views on this but it's just what works for me so yeah. So my next weight loss tip is for those of you that are in school and you may be like oh I don't really have enough time to go work out. So what I do it really helps me both academically and with my fitness too. So I study while I'm working out. So pretty much what I'll do is I'll just have a book or something or some worksheets to look at and then I'll put it on the elliptical or the treadmill like the stand where they give it that they give it to you and then I'll pretty much just stare at that memorize whatever I have to memorize read whatever I have to read while I'm on the treadmill and so this actually will help you out two different ways because for one if you're distracted by reading something out of a book you're not really gonna be focusing on like the pain from working out like you're not gonna be like oh I'm so tired you're gonna be just reading what's like on the paper and then another way that this will help you out is that you'll finally have time to study and work out as well so my next one this is something that my PE teacher in seventh grade he pretty much made us do this and it really changed the way I eat like so much and so it's probably gonna help you guys too 
and pretty much all you have to do is just write down what you eat and like it's called a food diary pretty much and i promise you it will help you so much because like, i just remember writing down stuff like like popcorn pizza ice cream and stuff like that and then it's like when you actually look at that and then you look and see dang this is really all i ate today like you're gonna just be terrified you're not even gonna want to eat anything unhealthy anymore and it's gonna like pretty much like make you want to eat healthier. So my next tip is to completely cut soda out of your diet. I really recommend only drinking water, but I know that's really hard for a lot of people. Also water and tea, that's also good. If that's really hard for you to cut out every drink besides water, which I know is difficult, I really recommend cutting all soda and all sugary drinks out. My next tip will really help you if you're in college and even if you're not in college, but it's to only keep healthy food around. So like, in my dorm, this is where I pretty much keep all my food. I'm just really trying to just not get junk food and stuff like that. And I'm trying to only keep healthy food in my room. So yeah, like I'm only trying to keep like fruit and vegetables and oatmeal, like healthy stuff like that. That way, when you're trying to snack, all you have are healthy options to choose from. So my next fitness tip is something probably a lot of you guys do already, but it's to always stay in motion. Like if you're on the phone, don't just sit on the couch or sit on the bed like, you know, just on the phone. Like you can get up and like walk around, pace around the room, do some squats, do something while you're on the phone. Like even when you're watching Netflix or something, like I'll watch Netflix and then do crunches like in the floor of my room or stretch. I love stretching so that's pretty much the main thing I do. And I just like multitask. My last fitness tip is the most important fitness tip. So it's just aim to be healthy, not to be skinny. So like you can develop an eating disorder if you take the fitness thing too far, if you count calories too much. So just make sure you're being healthy and being careful and just know that if you just make healthy decisions, then you're just already going to see the weight coming off. Like you don't have to restrict your diet. Like make sure you're eating enough. Never go to bed hungry. Never go hungry. So eat what you want, but just make healthy decisions. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that it helped you with your fitness goals. And I hope that you guys make all the achievements. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. And also please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And also you can comment down below if you have some fitness tips as well that you wanna share with others. And yeah, and so thank you guys very much for watching the video and I really hope you found it helpful.